Hey designers, today I'm going to walk you through what's on my desk and links to all of my products are in the description below. Let's start with the monitor. This is a Samsung 32 inch M7 4K monitor with smart TV and mobile connectivity. I've had this monitor for about 6 months now and I use it for design, editing my YouTube video, browsing websites, watch animes and etc. The resolution is 3840 by 2160 aspect ratio of 16 by 9. It has 1 USB-C, 2 HDMI and 3 USB. A. Also, it has a built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Honestly, the main reason I love this is because I don't need to buy a second monitor, which I am not a fan of. I personally do not use the mobile connectivity portion and the smart TV portion is quite nice, but since I have a smart TV in my living room and in my bedroom, I don't see myself using this. However, if I were to live and work in my bedroom, then smart TV would definitely come in handy. Just like any smart TV, it has all of your favorite apps like Netflix, YouTube, etc. and it comes with a remote. At the bottom, Netflix, Prime, and Browser are available at your fingertips along with default options such as adjust volume, channels, home buttons, and etc. I dig the all black color and the front is all matte. I'm using a single monitor stand by Vivio that I bought from Amazon. I would rate it a 7 out of 10 because the monitor does shake and I'm currently looking for something better. Please let me know in the comment below if you know any better ones. This right here is a standing desk by Autonomous. I'm sure you guys have seen this. It's called Autonomous Smart Desk Core. Very expensive by the way. It came to over $1,000, but the company I was working for at the time had a work from home budget expense which covered the cost. I got all black. There are two options, white and gray, but let's be honest, black totally rocks. You have four options to adjust the size. Option 1 is for sitting and option 2 for standing. The standing feature is quite nice but I hardly use it. When I'm on the go, I use the Asus Rogue Zephyrus Duo 15. This is a beast on its own, perfect for designing, gaming and video editing. The price tag for this at the time was $4,000. Yeah I know, it's pretty expensive. I don't know how and why this happened but a couple of years ago Intel reached out to me for a brand deal and part of the deal was for keeps. It's stuff like this, I love being a creator. I love the dual screen feature, the RGB lighting on keyboard, comes with i9, Windows 11 Pro, Wi-Fi 5, and for more details, I actually made three separate videos. The first one is unboxing, second one is a deep dive of all the specs, and the last one, the third one, is me designing while using this laptop. Feel free to check them out, the links are in the description below. The keyboard and mouse are from Logitech. This right here is the MX Keys Mini for $129 Canadian. It's wireless, small, and you can connect up to three devices. Also the color I chose is graphite. I used to have a mechanical keyboard, but I didn't want to disturb the entire neighborhood while typing. I think I've been using this mouse for over a decade now, and I have three of them. It's a creative thing. It's the MX Master 3S. I love the color, which is once again similar to my keyboard graphite. I literally use all the keys, and you can connect up to three devices. This is a Cyber Power Extreme Gaming PC. I recently made a few upgrades to it. I have upgraded to a 12th gen with i9 processor and it already came with 3.20 gigahertz, 16 GB with Windows 11 and Wi-Fi 5 even though I paid for Wi-Fi 6. The RGB strips cooling is by Galahad. I have no idea what the brand is but I've read good reviews about it and you can change colors too. I've purchased this PC back in 2021 during COVID for $2,655 Canadian and with the upgrade it comes to a total of $4,500. Yeah, it's pretty expensive. Overall, I can say that I never had any lags or any problems with it. I use it for designing, multitasking, watching a bunch of YouTube videos, browsing the web, editing and gaming. If you are interested on the full specs, please let me know in the comments below. Another great product from Autonomous, this is a Ergo Chair Pro, really good for my back. It's all black and I've paid $600 Canadian and just like my standing desk, this was also covered from 
work from home expense therefore I actually paid nothing as for mic I use Yeti blue mic for all my zoom calls and I'm actually using it right now to record this video I've purchased this I think three years ago and I never had any problems with it. The price is $180 Canadian. The stand is from Amazon. Yeti does offer a better one right now and I think I might upgrade to it. When it comes to webcam, I am currently using Logitech 4K. For the price, it's not that bad. It does come to $200 Canadian and this was another product that was covered by my work from home. I've had this Bose speaker for about a decade now. It's called the Companion 2 Series 3 listed for $180 Canadian. Very good speakers. I never had to upgrade. Like I said, I've had this for 10 years and I highly recommend it. This by far is the best earbuds I've used. It's the Sony WF-1000XM3. Over the years, I have used many different ones, but the quality on this is a solid 10 out of 10, which comes at $300 Canadian. I think they're doing a discount right now on Amazon, so definitely go check it out. I definitely recommend to buy this product, and it's one of those expensive product that definitely delivers. When working from home and when I'm at the gym, I like to keep my smartwatch on because it makes me productive and I'm able to count my steps, my calories and things like that. I'm currently using the Samsung Watch 4. I can't remember what series it is. I think I, this is a 2022 model, I think. Honestly, I don't use a lot of the features. It's a good product, but aside from counting steps and reading messages, I feel like it's kind of pointless. If you have a smartwatch, please let me know why you love it and what you use it for. I got my Dragon Ball Z characters, my favorite ones, Goku and Vegeta. Vegeta is actually my number one. If you know, you know. And for coasters, I'm currently using Spider-Man. It's actually very good quality. And for my mat, I'm using a black leather desk mat, which I found on Amazon. The candle and hourglass are actually new addition to my desk. I literally got them a few weeks ago. And last but not least, my Samsung S23 Ultra. I should, this is a clear case. So I put this clear case in it and then I have a, I purchased a bunch of Amazon. I purchased a bunch of anime stickers from Amazon. So this is the Dragon Ball Z set. Actually, I don't know if you guys, come on, there we go. This one here is from Naruto. And then I have like a lot more of Dragon Ball Z stuff here. This is the One Piece collection. And then My Hero Academy. Oh, there we go. And a lot, a lot. I have a lot. Like a lot of Dragon Ball Z stuff. Oh my God, here we go. Yeah, so this is the Samsung S23 Ultra. So that's my wallpaper. That's what I use here. Can you see this? Anyways, the, the focus point on this camera is like really messing up right now because I haven't used this camera in like a thousand years, but I got the green one, which is really awesome. I really, really like this color. And, and it's also uh, matte at the back. And I'm sure you guys have seen a bunch of tutorial videos about this phone, but it does come with a pen, which I think is so cool. Look at this, I can just write on it. I, I, I don't even need to turn my screen on. The moment when I take this pen off, the moment when I take this pen out, I can just start writing it and, it and it will automatically save, which is so, so cool. Uh, yeah, I definitely love this phone. I've had this phone for a few weeks now, I think a month now. This entire video has been shot with this phone, S23 Ultra. And except this part here, I'm using my uh, my Canon M50 because, yeah, you know, but yeah, I think that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, yeah, like I said before, if you like this new style content, please let me know in the comment below. Like the video, share it, all those YouTube algorithm stuff so this video can be shown more. I'll see you guys on my next one. How do I need to do this? Peace. Peace. Yeah.